Hello folks, my name is George and if you ever need me, you can reach me at 818-512-8125. What we have here is a 2014 Ford E350. It's a grooming mobile. I just finished this beauty for a girl named Darby and she is located in Marietta in Georgia. So those of you who need a mobile groomer, around the Marietta area in Georgia, look her up on the web, Grooming by Darby, D-A-R-B-I-E dot com. Okay, folks, so here I'm going to show Darby how to use this when she gets it. Number one, make sure you have decals, very important, right? Here you put them backwards so the car in front of you can read them actually through the rear view mirror as well as up here, plenty of room. More decals, the better, but get to the point. People only have three seconds, so don't make it too convoluted. Just groomingbydarby.com, the phone number, any specials uh, you might have, as, and then you put that here. Then you can put like paws, you know, dark paws, etc., on the doors or bubbles, things of that nature. Let's go around a little bit. Don't forget the rear, because when you're on the highway and you're followed by thousands of cars, look at this walking billboard here on the freeway. Beautiful, right? Make sure you get a nice special going phone number, your website address, uh, as low as, let's say, $49.95 to your home or office, so people know who you are or what you do. You can put pictures here. Uh, you have them printed where you can see out, people can see in. So find a nice local printer that can do that for you. Same with here. Here you have four windows, maybe some before and after, right? Pictures of dogs. People love to see pictures. The picture tells a thousand words. More billboards here, right folks? Right, Darby? So make sure uh, you get uh, nice decals here. On your tires, you can buy some chrome rims for this on eBay or Amazon. Very cheap, I think they're like a hundred and some odd dollars, so it's not so bad. Now, let's go inside and have a look at this beauty. Here, you have a swinging two doors. That's good to carry stuff in and out, or when you fill the water, which I will show you now. So here, let's open this door and walk in. Here's your passenger seat. This is a placement for your coffee. Um, let me start here. So I wanna start it real quick. Okay. Your front AC is right here. Right? Front high, boom. Done, blows nice and cold. Then the beauty of this, we have a rear AC. So right here, put it on max. Turn it on, guess what? You have plenty of air back and forth, right? Okay, so now let's turn this off so you can hear me. And then, here you go. I'm gonna turn this off and the one here off as well. So let's look here real quick. Here we have a grooming table with an arm. There's a reason why we don't have a hydraulic table here. You can carry a passenger. Let's go to the back. Here you have your 50 gallon clean water tank. Here we have a 50 foot hose. You can, if you have a major, major dog that you need to wash outside, you can stick this hose out the door. It's a reach, no problem. Here we have two short flow pumps. If any of them break down, any RV center will carry them. Unhook them. Half an hour, you're in and out, back on the road. I know some of you groomers watching this that have bought different kind. You get stuck and you are stuck. Sometimes for days trying to fix your uh, pump or you're trying to fix your generator. Here we don't have a generator. I will display that real quick. So here, is the cap, you uncap it, bring the hose, fill it, or bucket, and fill it. This is your drain pipe for the gray water, now I have it open. 
This is your 30 gallon, dirty water tank. And inside here, I don't know if we can see it, but behind it, there's what we call a heat exchanger. That heat exchanger takes water from the engine back to the engine. Then we pump water from here back through the heat exchanger back into the uh, tank here so when you feel this this will be hot when you run the engine and you turn on the pump to run it you might need 10 minutes to get the water nice and warm keep it that way for the day this is your 48 inch tub purple here what we have created is a let me hook this up this is a nice little deal i just created a little hook for it see so you can stand it up here is your box put your towels shampoos etc here we have a 5000 watt inverter with a 10,000 watt peak so you turn it on from here there's a switch you turn it on Four outlets, right? Be careful, you know, don't get it wet. That's why we have it inside the box with the lid. This is a 100 amp uh, charger at nighttime. You plug it in, bring an extension cord from the house, plug it here. I know you're gonna say yes, but we have solar and I will show you that in a bit, but always make sure I tell people, some people just use my solar power here. But I always suggest also, as a backup, plug it in, especially on those cloudy days. That's, I'm going to unhook this now. Did I turn it off? Nope, I left it on. So let me unhook it, let me turn it. You can run your whole house, actually. 5,000 watts, that's a lot. Then, here, let me show you the look of this. Here. See this very pretty so when you have a big dog don't break your back walk them on the lower level right and then up easy second level right into the top and then bait them one thing I forgot to show you is let me open this up again and here you have two switches okay this one here is for the heat exchanger we turn it on, this is the one to your left, okay? The water is running through the pump, back to the heat exchanger, back into the tank. You do this with the engine running, so it starts exchanging heat. You see the water? Uh, this, you see water coming out? So make sure you feel it, don't let it get too hot, otherwise you're gonna need to empty some of the water in the tank and add more cold water. People have done it one time, they learned their lesson, right? So maybe run it, start your engine, let it run while you're cleaning, five, 10 minutes, heat the whole tank. Should last you the whole day, 50 gallons. I'm gonna turn it off. The second one here is the one to your right. If you notice the switch here, uh, I, I have it on actually. This one, you switch it down. Okay, this one, you switch up. So this one here is down, so which means it's on. This is for your hose. So this is your... Uh, you have plenty of pressure. And it's on demand pump. So it down while you're lathering the dog the pump wouldn't uh, come on it'll just fill up as well okay water goes down here out uh, over there so be careful don't get hair in there you know keep keep the strainer in there so it collects your hair even though I do have a you on the drainage so it collects any hair that just stuck but just to be safe, it's nice to be clean all the time. So let me close this. This is off. Oops, let's set this down. Now as far as grooming, Darby, you have the table, right? You can put a dog here. 
You can set it down here at the first level. You have a, a medium sized uh, poodle, put them on the second level, right? And groom them. Very good. You can groom a dog on the floor. This is all like uh, rubber floor, right? So you can get it wet, doesn't matter. And you can also move this table on top of the first level here and get another height. The beauty about this table, why we don't have hydraulic, is you can have it facing this way, or you also can turn it, right? And walk around the entire dog. Or there's two of you grooming because you can accommodate this in this bus, except if you look at the vans, you put two people in a van, it's like, oh my goodness, how are we gonna move here? So here you can, two of you can be working. Three people can be working, right? Now I'll show you the, the nice part that everybody wants, and I do them once in a while. Here I stepped out. So what I have here, we have two solar panels on top of the bus, 285 watts each. That's given us about 570 watts per hour of sun. Then the cables, the energy from the sun that we use the solar panels for is coming to the charge controllers. I have two of them. One for each solar panel. I don't hook them up to the same. I want two. Backup, right? We have voltage coming down at 36 volts. Look at the battery level now, 13.6. That's, that's a beauty, that is wonderful. You also have USB ports if you wanna charge your phone as well. 13.7 volts on the second one. Whoops, I need to turn off the water. <laughs> I forgot to. Okay. So then the energy is going down here. And I'm gonna open up the lid on this part. So let's take it out. And here is where the energy is being stored. We have six deep cycle batteries, right? So everything is hooked up right here. If you ever need more power, you you find out you're grooming more, 10 dogs a day, no problem. We can add more batteries. And even underneath here, there's so much room, we can even smack six more batteries, 12 batteries, about 12,000 watts of energy they, you'll be carrying, that's, that's, that's a lot. Make sure, at once a month, open up the lid, make sure everything is tight, okay? Very important. Make sure you're reading your solar, that everything is uh, reading well. And on top of the bus, solar panels, I have them strapped down, they're tight, but make sure once every two or three weeks, uh, or if you can, have a ladder, uh, climb the ladder, take a look at everything, make sure nothing is broke, everything is in one piece. This is a moving vehicle. Make sure everything is running. Any questions, you call me, Darby. Okay, so, and folks, don't forget groomingbydarby.com on the web if you ever need a mobile groomer. And uh, I know she's a master groomer as well, so she's a great groomer. And if you need a bus like this one, give me a call. My name is George, 818-512-8125. Be blessed, everybody. And Darby, all the best to you and good luck. Bye-bye.